Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here we are with Tiffany St. Ange, our Earth Storm Controller, and we are over here in Steel Canyon in front of the University. And what I wanted to do today was do a, a, a basic primer on enhancement sets. Um, why do people buy these enhancement sets? Why do they spend these millions and millions of influence on enhancement sets, and what do they do, and, and how do you go about doing that? Uh, this will be a really basic setup, and uh, the reason for this is uh, Tiffany is now level 36, and as such, I, I've just now started to dip into the enhancements a little bit. Uh, I did this on this character when I was playing live many years ago, and uh, let me show you what we've got so far. The only thing I've done so far is I have loaded up stalagmites, and I have purchased, uh, I have two ropadopes, and I have four uh, stupefies in here. And the reason for that is um, for the ropadopes, I have two of these. I have the um, uh, ropadope accuracy recharge and accuracy stun. And by having those two, I get, as you notice, see on there in the green, it improves your regeneration by 6% by having those two slotted. Uh, for stupefy, I have four things. I have accuracy recharge, accu endurance stun, stun range, and accuracy stun recharge. And by having four of those slotted in there, I get improved recovery by 2.5%, increased maximum health by 1.88%, and improves the duration of your stun effects by 3%. So uh, why in the world do we do this kind of thing? Well, we're getting all these bonuses and things. Uh, but we're also helping out our powers, because even though I have like accuracy recharge, um, that doesn't mean that we're getting 50% accuracy and 50% recharge, uh, by having this, we're actually getting roughly, I think it's 62% uh, accuracy and 62% recharge. So the combination of the two is greater than 1.0. So if we just slotted an accuracy in that one slot, we'd have 100% accuracy. Uh, here we're getting 62% accuracy, but also 62% recharge. Whenever there's two of a kind, you get 62%. Um, if you have a situation, let's see, like this one, Whereas accuracy, stun, and recharge, uh, each one you get 40% or maybe 41%, something like that, for each of those three. So by slotting several different of these uh, slots, we get more than we would otherwise. Uh, it actually boosts up our ability. So whereas we may, in a typical range, or, or let's say a melee attack, we may have two accuracies and three damages. And that's what we have. By having... Um, uh, enhancement um, uh, sets in there, we may be able to have, in those same five slots, we may have be able to have uh, quite a few accuracy and damage, and we're also going to have recharge and endurance and possibly something else as well. So you can get a lot more bang for your buck in the same number of slots. And then you also get all of your bonuses, and there each uh, uh, enhancement set has different uh, enhancement bonuses. So I just hit level 36. I got three new slots in Tornado. And Tornado is a power that uh, we can do um, for pet damage because it's considered kind of a pet. So rather than put in uh, two more damage slots and then an endurance reduction, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of uh, a couple of enhancement sets and really get to the, my maximum mileage I can out of this. So let's go into the university. Oops, I got to go backwards here. Let's go to the university. And of course, I've been using my episode three from this series where I show how to make millions and millions of dollars in this game or influence. Um, I think this character now is 38 million, which is enough for right now because I'm just uh, doing this very slowly as I go along. So one of the things you want to do is you want to go into uh, paragonwiki.com. That has, and look up uh, enhancement sets. They has all the different uh, enhancement sets you can do and all the bonuses they give and all the different slots you can have. Uh, it's really, really useful. It gives you lots of really good information. Um, and I've got that pulled up on one of my other monitors right now. So what we're going to do is we look, if we look up pet damages on here, there are quite a few different sets. Um, and those sets have different uh, uh, slotting options you can do. Uh, the ones I'm looking at right now, well, first of all, let me, let me back up a little bit. Every character is going to be somewhat different. Uh, this particular character is a, my Earthstorm controller, 
and she has an amazing number of, of control powers. She doesn't do a lot of damage, but she, we, that's why we have Animate Stone. Sony is our, is our tanker and damage dealer. Uh, she has a lot of different control powers. It, it's Earth Storm is a fantastic combination. So the things that I really need to, to boost on this character is I want to boost up my recovery, my ability to gain my, my blue bar, my endurance bar, because I do use a lot of powers on here. I want to, to boost that up and, and as much as possible. I want to, to boost up my regeneration. So when I do get a hit, when I, someone hits me uh, from far away, I want to boost, I want to get my health back as soon as possible. And uh, hopefully boost up my uh, health as well, just by overall number of health points. Um, different characters require different things. If I was playing Judel's dad, or uh, my brute, the super uh, strength uh, uh, invulnerable brute, uh, what I'd be trying to do is, is boost up my damage resistance. I want to hit the maximum possible uh, damage resistance points on that. I want to, to make him as strong and tough as possible. Secondarily, I may want to boost up my uh, regeneration. I mean, um, uh, my recovery, although my, my blue bar is pretty good on him. Uh, so maybe my regeneration. Uh, maybe my, just my, my pure health points. But primarily, it's going to be my resistance and my damage resistance. My, I'm sorry, my defense and my damage resistance. So uh, on my Corruptor, my Warder Storm Corruptor, um, he does a lot of knockdown. You know, we have a lot of powers to do knockdowns on that. We have the uh, freezing rain from the storm side. We have the whirlpool and geyser from the uh, water side. So maybe I want to enhance knockdown, make him knock down for a lot longer. Um, maybe on that character, I also need to boost up my damage resistance because he does get hit sometimes. <laughs> if I don't have an uh, animate stone to take it off of him. Uh, so what you want to do is figure out which things in your character you want to boost up. Maybe it's a, your, your character's strong suit, you want to make it even stronger. Or maybe it's a hole in your character's uh, defenses or abilities that you want to fill in. Uh, so you want to, to decide what you want to do. On, on Tiffany, again, I want to boost up my recovery, my regen, and my health. Those are my main things. And if we get some other things on top of that, even better. So I'm looking at my pet damage, and we have unquestioning loyalty, commanding presence, brilliant leadership, eating the master, all these, all these different sets that we can have. And from, from what I was looking at, um, if we get uh, brilliant leadership, brilliant leadership, if I have two slotted, two, two uh, brilliant leadership slots in there, I will get 4% regeneration. Well, that's pretty good. I like that. If I slot three, it's 10% confused duration. This character doesn't have any, any uh, confusion power, so that won't really help out. Um, if I slot four of uh, these, I'll get uh, some smashing lethal uh, resist damage resistance and some mez resistance. I don't really need resistance on this. This character isn't really built for that. You know, defense would be a little bit better. I wouldn't mind having some defenses, but that's not going to really help. But the 4% regeneration for two is pretty good. I'm also looking at blood mandate. Blood Mandate, if I slot two of those, I get 1.5% recovery. So my blue bar will increase uh, a little bit faster. Um, if I slot three of those, then I also get 1.875 Fire Cold Defense and 0.9375 AOE Defense. Well, that's pretty good. Um, then if I slot four, I'll get Fire and Cold Resistance. I don't really need that. So what I'm thinking on this, and again, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing on this. There are so many different combinations. So I'm sure people uh, may, may put it in the comment section below, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. I welcome the, that, that kind of advice because there's no one best way of doing this. So if you have some better advice, feel free to leave that for me. Um, but what I'm looking at here is maybe doing two brilliant leaderships and two blood mandates. If I slot those four things in my uh, tornado, then what I'll have is I'll have four slots. I'll have all the accurate, the damage that I need, and I also have 4% regeneration, 1.5% recovery on top of that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And every character is different. Every power you have is different. So we're going to play around with Tornado today. So let's, let's do that. So what I want to do now, what we can also see here is the different powers that are available from those two things. Um, Blood Mandate and, and Brilliant Leadership should be fairly cheap because these are very common powers, which is nice. Um, so we'll spend a lot of money. And both of them also have like just individual damage slots on there. That's, that's kind of unusual. And I, I don't really need much accu accuracy at all. So I'm thinking a damage and a damage, and then maybe a damage 
endurance from both of those as well. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So that will give me one, two, three point three slots worth of damage and one point two slots of uh, endurance. Wow, that's better than what I would do just with uh, single origin enhancements. So, all right, let's go in here. See if we can buy these suckers. All right, recipes. So we're going to go to recipes and we're going to go to pet damage. All right. So I want to make sure I don't screw this up. All right, blood mandate. Here we go. So these are our, our six options. Let's look at the damage one. I'm going to go as high slotted as I can. We go up to level 39. So let's see what we got here. Oh, those are cheap. Uh oh. That tells me that there's probably something really expensive. Steel. Eh, I'm not sure if that's that, that terrible. All right, let's go. There's 88 for sale, only two bidding. Hmm, that may be an issue. Let's do this again. Steel. I don't know if steel is very, really costly. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, let's put in a bid for 1,000. Got it. All right. And then the other one I was looking at was, what was it? Um, damage endurance? Yeah, damage endurance. Okay. Endurance. Let's see what these things are priced out at. Must be 2000 Okay. That's 82 for sale and 82 bidding, so that's pretty close. Right, let's go three. All right, well, we're waiting for that. Let's look up my blood mandate damage. So I need alchemical silver. Silver. And of course, you can't see how much it is. Okay, pretty cheap. Let's go 250. Got it. And steel. I'm curious how much steel is selling for. Let's see here. Oh, that's not bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and create this. It's going to be 97000 to create this. Still got this one on, on uh, trying to buy that. We're bidding on that. So the other one we want to go with is the Brilliant Leadership. So let's click on here. And we're looking at damage. Well, no one's bidding on that, so we'll get this for a song. Let's try and get this for like 1800 Again, maybe we can get it cheaper, but, you know, I mean, come on. Got that. And now we'll do the Brilliant Leadership Damage Endurance. They don't want to tell us how much it's going for. Come on. Also cheap. All right. Well, those things are popular. Damage and All right. So in the meantime, let's do this brilliant leadership damage. Oh, we've got everything we need. We already had um, all of these. Blood of the Incarnate. I think that was uh, that's kind of pricey, I think. I've already got one, so it it's not going to cost me anything. But let me see. Oh, no, it's cheap. All right, never mind. All right, so I'm going to create that. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to these. They do not want to take my fantastic vid here. Ah, there we go. We got that one. Brilliant leadership. Okay, so we need alchemical silver.
and mutant DNA strand. All right, let's create this one. Okay, now we have both of these two things. So we're still waiting on this one, but let's go ahead and slot our two brilliant leaderships already so we can take a look at what happens. So I'm going to put these in over here. All right. So what we now have is improves your regeneration by 4% because we had those two in there. And this gives me... Uh, enhanced damage of the power by 23.9% and endurance 23.9%. This is damaged by 38.2%. So, now look at this. So this is uh, this was our regular damage that we had in that slot. Now it's a little, it's underpowered now. It's at level 33. Uh, it's a single origin. It's not one of these. Uh, it's 23.3% damage. So this thing is giving us 38.2% damage, so much, much better, much more strong. But let's also check out the combat powers because we have more regeneration. So regeneration rate, I think this is going to be right here. So we got another 0.2. So we have regeneration is 0 0.67, 0 0.42 is our base. We get 0.21% uh, from health. Uh, this is 0.02 from um, one of my other powers in the stalagmites, and then the 0.02 from here. So um, not a huge amount, but it adds up. It helps out. So we're now at 0.67. Now, as we put in more slots and do more bases, then we'll get some improvement on there. Now, in terms of recovery, once we get the other uh, blood mandate, which we'll try that again soon, uh, we'll get a little bit more on that as well. So that's how you build up these things. Let's go ahead and uh, do this one thing left. Blood mandate. We didn't want 3,000, huh? All right, I'm going to keep doing this as we go. But anyway, that's how we do that. Um, and as that, that is the point of doing these enhancement slots. So we'll put this in here to give you more damage as well. And then the last slot will go right here. And when that happens, then this green will light up here on the, it says improves your recovery by 1.5%. So that'll be in there as well. And uh, so what we'll do is eventually we'll, we'll replace pretty much most of these things, not all, everything, uh, but most of these things where, where there's an advantage uh, for us with these different enhancement slots. We'll get more bang for the buck. So now we have a lot more endurance and more damage than we would have otherwise. And we also get these bonuses as well. So again, we want to try and make our characters stronger and better in the ways that uh, they need to be improved. So that's how that works. Um, you kind of play the market a little bit, just like we did when we were building up money. Now we're kind of spending money uh, to make our characters stronger. And that's, that's why we want to build that money up in the first place. Um, but anyway, go to ParagonWiki.com to, to find everything that, that we need to talk about here, um, all the different slots. and you can start doing a lot of this, you know, early on in your character's history. Uh, I generally kind of wait a little bit until I, I know that, yeah, I, I really like this character and I keep playing it. I think it's worthwhile to boost up my uh, money on this character so that I can start buying some slots. And also so you can figure out uh, what your character needs help with. Um, where's your character weak? Um, what, what kind of things would you need from the enhancement slots that are going to help you out? What kind of bonuses? Um, and each character is different, and the way you play each character is different, too. Uh, there are some other slots you can get really, really advanced on this. This is really a basic primer. This is basic level up stuff. You can get some purple slots, slottings, and things like that, and and uh, and get everything. You know, It's a lot of really detailed stuff you can do. But this is really just the base that, uh, for how to handle this. So anyway, I hope this helps out. I hope this shows what we want to do. Um, so until next time, this is Greg29407 sitting here in the university. Uh, playing the market a little bit, trying to boost up my uh, character's power, saying uh, aloha, and we will see you next time.